can sub 100 dollars or 100 euros resin printer be any good and worth your time and also money and also if you are looking into starting with resin printers and not sure if you want to invest too much is gtech alkyd resin printer good investment we'll talk about that in today's review video First, let me start by saying that GTEC has sent me Alkyd resin printer and GCV01 curing washing station free of charge. No money was exchanged. But also, they haven't seen this video before the release and they had zero impact on this review and this test. Second, I was expecting Alkyd resin printer and some resin because they asked me for the color of the resin. But instead of resin, I received GCV01 curing washing station and that was a bit of a surprise to me. Third is my opinion. If you splash out 99 US dollars or 95 euros for a resin printer, should you even get a curing and washing station? Actually, you really do not need it, especially if you just want to see if resin is for you or not. You can wash parts in the IPA, in cheap IKEA box and cure them out in the sun. But in the long term, getting this station will really make your life easier and cleaner in the future. Fourth. Resin is messy and smelly and sticky, and if you haven't used it, be prepared to have a box of single-use gloves and paper towels on the side. Just for this testing, I've used probably 10 pairs of gloves and 3 rolls of paper towels. And fifth and the last thing I want to remind you is that resin is toxic and once again smelly. Always wear protective gear, use it in a well-ventilated space, keep resin away from the sun, and that's something I learned the hard way when I started with resin printing and opened the lid in the summer during day on my balcony. Really learned it the hard way because it hardened everywhere. Everything arrived in two boxes. And as it is with most resin printers, you do not have much of assembly, except of mounting bed where prints will get printed on, do bed leveling, this is the semi-automatic process, and you are ready for the first print. Alkyte is a very simple printer. And expecting some advanced functionality out of box would simply be too much. But this simplicity is also for the better. On the USB stick that is mounted on the back side, and I think this may be the only bad decision with the design of the printer, you get sample files, Cheeto box software for slicing, some pre sliced models, manual, and yes, once again, folder with slicing software, but this time also for Mac, Linux, besides just Windows. If you haven't used resin printer before, all you need to do is add resin to the vat after home calibration, put the lid on and start printing. There is, as I said, no Wi-Fi connection and no Ethernet jack, although I've seen GTEC does have some kind of a Wi-Fi adapter, but I'm not sure if this one works with Alkyd resin printer. Specs of the printer are far from top-notch devices you may see today on the market, but it may not be for the worse. It has 6.08 inch monochrome HD LCD with 0.051 mm accuracy and they state that the curing time for the resin per layer is 1.5 seconds. I'll come back to that later, during the testing. Touchscreen is very responsive and you can set control and start pause or stop prints from this 3.5 inch color touchscreen. Linear rail is used as a guide for build plate mount and lead screw moves the z-axis up and down. This is very sturdy because this is also not that big printer. Resolution of the print is 2K or 2560 by 1620 pixels. Once again, that's far from what today top printers can do, but again, we'll touch on that during the testing. Yes, you can get 12K printers and this is 2K, but they also cost you at least 4 to 5 times as much as this one. So if you haven't had contact with resin printers before, splashing out $100 for this printer may be better than wasting $500 for something that you will later not use. Build volume is also not that big, 130mm by 82mm with 190mm in Z or height axis. Cover of the printer or box is really nice, no, it's not hinged. What would you expect for $99, but unlike some other vendors, it is very transparent, while still blocking UV light, both from escaping, but also from entering the printer. I did test this on a very sunny and bright day, with resin in vat and active printing, 
as I'm prohibited from printing resin again in our apartment, all the testing was done outside on fresh and not so warm day, but also nights. Recommended temperature for resin and resin printer is around 20 degrees centigrade, 10 to 30 if you look at the specs of the printer, and also around 20 for the 3D Jake Echo resin I used in this test. Minimum temperature I've printed was around 5 degrees and maximum was never above 20 degrees centigrade. Resin was, as I've mentioned, from 3D Jake, old opened leftover of Echo Resin Ultramarine Blue Transparent, which really looks awesome, and also fresh new bottle of the 3D Jake's Jet Black. First print was out of USB stick, pre-sliced deer in Ultramarine Blue, and it's really stunning. Not just due to color, transparency, of the resin, but also details and horns look awesome. My wife said I'm keeping this one for me. But I've said enough, let me slice something and start from the beginning. In Cheetobox printer is not predefined, so you have to manually enter parameters such as speed, exposure and similar. It's very easy to follow both in the included paper manual, but also in the PDF guide that you can find on the USB stick. There is also a configuration file that you can import settings but it doesn't work with the Cheetobox version 2.0, just with the included 1.8 beta version. Nevertheless, I wanted to see if these are the best settings for printing, but also to see if the exposure time is correct or not. That's why I downloaded calibration model from Table Flip Foundry, sliced it in Cheeto after changing default setting of 2 seconds to 3 seconds of exposure time per layer. This adds 50% more time to each layer, but I wanted to see what test said. Am I overexposing or underexposing? And while it did finish, you could clearly see that this was not perfect setting for this printer combined for this resin. Remember, each time you change resin manufacturer, type of the resin, but also color of the resin, you should redo this fast test to see if settings are okay. It will ensure your prints are perfect. By changing the exposure settings from 2 to 3 and then to 4 settings, I achieved the perfect print for this test scenario. Torture test number one was my next sliced object. I wanted to throw this tiny, tiny print and see if it will be able to print it. And wow, this ended up looking so perfect. All of the details are visible. Everything printed, nothing fell off. I don't think I've ever seen such a perfect microprint before with my own eyes. All that on 95 euro resin printer. If you see white residue on some of the models and there is white residue, that's because I was hasty and I didn't thoroughly clean and then also thoroughly dry the models. The white residue is a mix of IPA and resin that wasn't washed off or cured and then went into the curing chamber. Roku was print number 4. Again, it ended up looking so good. And this black resin made prints look very, very appealing. I did manage to break it by accidentally throwing it on the floor. And yes, throwing, not just dropping it. But still, it looks so good. Internal structure of the Roku is also there, both the spiral and the stairs. Calibration cube is something that people usually print to test dimensions on the FDM printers. So I've printed on a resin printer this one but with a twist, as this one has a small city residing in the hole of the cube. Again, perfect print, very nice details, really, really loving it so far. If you've seen any 3D printer review, you know that 3D benches are usually the first thing that people print. So here goes 3D benchy with a twist. I think this one is called lattice benchy, made out of mesh. Not something that you would want to print on your FDM as it would probably fail, string or give you so much headache that you would rage quit, especially if the printer is not well tuned. Turns out it was really awesome. I'm keeping this model for my own desk. As you can see, even the light can go through the mesh. Since Easter is approaching, I've decided to print this Easter egg with egg inside of it. You guessed it right. Perfect print once again. So many details, everything looks as it should. No distortions, just perfect. And it's again been confiscated by my wife to go into this year's decoration. You probably already know, if you follow my channel, that I am both Star Wars and Trekkie fan. So the next model I printed was Millennium Falcon. It took around 7 hours for this high detailed version to get printed. 
You can see some color inconsistencies here, but that's my fault of hurrying things up and curing the model before it was completely dry. Still, you can see all the details, especially the details inside the engine compartment, radar and guns. Overall, is this the best printer on the market? Far from it. Is this the highest resolution printer you can get? Again, no. Is it lacking some of the functionality? Yes, for example, no Wi-Fi, no air filter, among other things. But what this printer has is the price tag that will make you forget all of the cons of Alkyde resin printer. And the quality of prints, even with 2K resolution, is really, really, really great. I wasn't expecting that. If you are considering to buy a resin printer, with this price tag you should not wait any longer. Even if it doesn't end up as your cup of tea, it's much easier to part with 95 euros resin printer than one costing 500 euros. Go check out the links in the video description. And of course, all of the links to all of the models and all of the sites where I got those models are also in the video description. But also, I want to emphasize once again, this is a 2K resolution printer. Don't expect miracles from it. Don't expect that you can print life-size models inside of it. It has its own limitations. As long as you are aware of those limitations, both in the resolution and the volume, this is really, really, really excellent printer for the money you spent on it. I hope that you did find this video interesting. And if you did find it interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you still haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so you get notified on the future video releases. If you have any kind of a comment question, if you already have GTEC Alkyte printer, or you have some other resin printer, I really would like to hear that down in the comment section below. And before I end up the video, I also want to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked, subscribed and commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, you can always send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.